my movie. Bus, 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 train. Yes, yes, yes. Bus, bus, Busan. The, the train to Busan. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Bufant. So Bufant. <laughs> Bufant. Not Bufant. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are now live. So <laughs> thank you, everybody, for joining us today from wherever you are around the world. I've already seen some folks in the chat saying that you stayed up until 4 a.m. where you are uh, to watch this. Whoa, so. I love oh, you. my God. That's Who cool. What's the furthest Good place? morning. Yeah, tell us where you're from. Drop that in the chat. Yeah. We're, I would love to see where you are. Tokyo uh, wa minanji desu ka. Shout, shout out to everybody. Yeah. Or, um, good Lord. Wow everywhere okay i'm gonna collect these and we'll talk about it later uh because oh, cool. man they're everywhere i got netherlands like it's flying by so nice. uh, wow. thank you everybody for joining us uh this is our third cora reading uh we're gonna finish up the first book turf wars today because we left you all on a cliffhanger last time um <laughs> yeah and in case you missed it uh turf wars continues exactly where the animated series left off so uh, we began with Janet and Seychelles doing uh, that initial Khorasami uh, journey in the spirit world. So go back, watch that. It's on our YouTube now and it's here on our Twitch channel too. We ran some reruns earlier. So um, you can watch those in perpetuity uh, with captions too on our YouTube. So don't miss it. Um, thank you again for joining us for Dark Horse. Um, also, I am joined today by the voice cast from the Legend of Korra animated series. Thank you all once again for joining us and doing these readings. Um, Thank you so much for having us. Uh, I'm gonna quickly. I'm, I'm watching us. I'm watching us while we're. Oh, how are we doing? Hey, meta. We how look are we amazing. Doing? We look awesome. Wi-Fi is not good enough for that. I'm so nervous. I always have it on a few screens too because I'm moderating. So if you see me looking, that's kind of what I'm doing. But yeah, I always have to make sure I mute it all so we don't get like echo, echo, echo. Um, You're doing great. But, you're doing great. I, I try. True. I, we're getting better at this, right? So we've been doing this since we started uh, working from home due to COVID, um, and it feels like 40 years ago now. Um, <laughs> so thank you all for bearing with us. Uh, we stream for Dark Horse every week on Wednesdays, uh, so you can always check back same day, same time, pretty much. If we have other extra streams, we will tell you about those each week as they happen, but as we we kind of gave you a little teaser last week saying check back this week for some Cora fun and this is what that was um, lo and behold yeah so exciting new reading uh thank you again to Janet Varney first of all all the always the uh the helper and the organizer of these things <laughs> and in full makeup it's in just full fun to beautiful see makeup. yeah yeah I don't mess around I should have put lipstick on. Shoot. I'm wearing my Fire Ferris t-shirt. Nice. Hey. Which, um, I have something special about that coming up in a moment here. So excellent choice. Uh, oh, thank yeah. you. I love, I love Un Unknown how excellent it was. That's very good news. We're, we're just kind of on the same wavelength now. <laughs> ah. um, thank you also to Seychelle Gabriel for joining us again, of course. <laughs> so happy to be here. <laughs> and we have Mindy Sterling back again. And David Faustino. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. And of course, PJ Byrne. Yeah. Ah! yeah. Wow. <laughs> so they'll be reading yeah. their usual parts from the series <laughs> and also some assorted other voices today. <laughs> so you know we how we do. We hope you enjoy, especially the sound effects. Um, I do. Bear <laughs> us. And uh, you can follow along at home if you've got uh, Turf Wars Part 1. Uh, we're going to start on page 60, which is where we left off last time. There's also a free excerpt on digital.darkhorse.com. We've been dropping that link in the chat. It's also on our homepage. So if you want to follow along in the comics, just go there and you got a little free excerpt. Um, and as always, you can ask questions of us about Cora in the chat. Our moderators will be collecting those. I want to give a shout out real quick to our moderators today. They are the editors on the Cora and Avatar The Last Airbender comics and art books that we do. So hello and thank you to nice. Rachel Roberts and Jenny Blaine. Oh, Jenny. Rachel, Rachel and Jen. It's Rachel and Jen. Okay, great. Yeah. Rachel and Jen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Jen they are here. They're here. <laughs> yes, Rach, Jen. They're watching. How are they're you? They do oh. every comic in the world. Yeah, Rach and Jen, RJ. And, and we Jen. also have. When do you know RJ's uh, on? It's things are happening. Uh, yeah, RJ. <laughs> behind the scenes, as ever, Gary. Shout out to Gary. 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 He's 
my my Ooh. tech producer. Uh, you guys have probably seen him a couple times on stream. He's like, we should have him back on stream sometime. We get a little FaceTime, with Gary. Give Gary um, the GF. Yeah, yeah, always, always Gary. Uh, so thank you to the whole team Thanks, for helping Gary. us out today. Um, we also are going to do a giveaway. Um, that's going to start in a few moments. You'll see the announcement in chat. And this is where I bring it back to fire ferrets. Uh, I love the combo creatures in the Avatar and Korra universe. And I especially love fire ferrets because I love red pandas. So today's keyword to enter the giveaway to win a copy of Turf Wars parts one, two, and three is Pabu. Just enter Pabu once. Aww, Pabu. 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 I love Pabu. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. P-A-B-U, and you just need to enter it one time. We'll count it, and then we'll draw a winner at the end of the stream. And that's pretty awesome. much it. Just be just be cool in the chat, if you would, uh, cool. and ask your questions. Our mods will will check them, and um, we'll get to a Q&A after the be nice. Be nice in that chat room, all right? Come on, guys. Yeah. Be excellent to each other in, in the world. Words of Bill and Ted. Yes. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, nice. Uh, well played, with, well played. No, thank you. We, we do Bill and Ted comics too, so uh, let's tie in there. See, see what I did there? Um, always so, work, nobody, always working. <laughs> nobody wants to hear me talk, so I am going to turn it over to the crew who are going to present the next <clears throat> reading from The Legend of Korra, Turf Wars. Take it away, Janet and crew. Is that an action? Shall we? Action? Action? Page 60 though, right? Page 60, well, so page everybody 60, knows? Yeah, page 60, yeah. guys. 60. Here we go, and action. Chief, come in. You can't get through to the police station? No. Radio frequencies have been screwy ever since the portal appeared. We're gonna have to handle this without. Whoa. Whoosh. The avatar. Takuga, ah. you guys got your marks? Easily. <laughs> Takuga, you're under arrest. <laughs> ah. Huh? Ah! I hate to hurt a man while he's down, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. Uh, Back off. <sighs> you're going to need some bigger rocks. Really? Well, you're going to need some new swords. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Takuga gave me the slip. You get it, Mark. Thanks for the save, partner. Ha! You, you call me partner? Yes! I did. I just did. I said it. I God, said I love it. you. And, and not just because you're my brother. You because you call me partner. Spirits! <laughs> protect Ooh. the portal! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Call off the spirits. No, it was your responsibility to keep this area safe and you failed. Listen to me. You might think you're protecting your world, but you're not. Humans are already afraid of the spirits. Attacking them is only gonna make things worse. What's she up to? These humans started the fight. Now one of them must pay. No! Swap! Please, please stop. Ah! Asami? Asami! Crack! Back off! Mm. Ah! ah. Whoosh! Whoosh! Asami, are you all right? Talk to me. You wouldn't leave the spirit portal alone. 
Now you will live with the consequences. Oh. Oh no. Booga? What did that spirit do to you? Help! Get me out of here! Triple threats! Retreat! Spirits? Return to our realm! Cora? Oh, thank goodness. So, that thing we were going to tell you about earlier? Wait a second. You and Asami are a couple? We are. Ha! Woohoo! Listen, I knew you guys had some good gossip. Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> Opal and I get first double date, okay? I think we're free, Opal. Is it Tuesday? We're free next Tuesday. Yes! Uh I, I'm, I'm so happy for you, too, and, and no no pressure about that date. That's a lot of pressure. Tuesday, I prefer 7 or 7.30. That's a great <laughs> window for me and my belly. I'm having, like, anxious stomach lately. <laughs> Mako, you all right? You're, I mean, you're both dating each other now. That's cool. I'm, I'm cool with it. <sighs> okay, so while Mako takes a minute to process all this, I have a question. What were the triple threats doing here? I mean, I thought they were after Creeping Crystal's turf, not the spirit portal. Well, my bet is someone sent them to intimidate the airbenders into leaving. And I have a pretty good idea who did. Crack! Crack! Boom! Oh, boss! I <sighs> tried to stop them! What the, Who dares? You didn't warn me the Avatar might show up at the portal. So, Kuga, what, what happened to you? Cora summoned a bunch of spirits and ordered one of them to attack me. When you hired me to do your dirty work, becoming a freak wasn't part of the deal. Well, you want more money? I'll, I'll pay double what I owe you. Ah! I can't breathe! You're not getting off that easily. I'm taking control of Kyom Enterprises and all of its assets. You work for me now. Dun, dun, dun. Oh! oh boy. Wow. <laughs> that was some serious wow. drama. Serious drama. That was good. Nice. That's the We're best we've ever done. You know, <laughs> that was the same one right there. Yeah, in the history of the Legend of Korra, that was the best. <laughs> and I think, that, I think that David and PJ should always do the sound effects. I love yeah. it. Done. I love Done it. deal. Great. Done deal. I love awesome. it. The sound effects we'll are... We'll compete for sound effects now. Great. Great. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was so fun. I hope everybody yeah. enjoyed it. Uh, I mean, it looks like they were. The chat is going crazy, so... Oh, um, <laughs> it wasn't very long this time. We know it wasn't... It, was it was only short. a handful of pages, but... Brief. Pretty quick. We talked about maybe giving you a peek into volume two, but... Yeah, Stay tuned. Uh, we'll we'll see what else we can do in the future. Um, see who we, we can so, rustle up. Yeah. All all three volumes are available now. Also collected in a library edition. I know that things have been kind of tough to get a hold of because COVID has definitely delayed everything. Uh, what? Reprints, shipping, all of it. So they are coming back. They are going to stay in print. Don't worry. The library editions and the little paperbacks too. So um, don't worry. They'll be back, and you can get those and all the Avatar comics also. Uh, we don't have any announcements for you about comics right now. We did announce recently Katara and the Pirate Silver, which is coming up in October. And then Tofei Fong's Metal Bending Academy is the next one. That's coming up <gasps> nice. in nice. February. Wow. That's cool. That's so awesome. We just, basically, that was like part of our San Diego Comic-Con announcements, which went virtual this year. Um, so stay tuned. We do have some more stuff coming up and we'll tell you when we can, but we're not quite there yet. But I think you'll be very happy about it. So uh, right watch out for cool. that. Um, we are going to move into a Q&A real quick. And uh, thank you, everybody. We've got a lot of questions in chat, so we'll get to as many as we can. Uh, first and foremost, how are you guys holding up? We've been quarantining for like, ah! I don't know how long. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we lost Mindy, right then, in that question. <laughs> God bless her. God bless her. Vacillating between attitude and just complete crazy craziness. 
don't know what time is anymore. Um, well, what, I think they are, forget the days the and they, days. Just, they do, they all run into each other. So it doesn't matter because they keep thinking, oh, weekend's coming up. And it's like, mm, pretty much every day is a weekend. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but Mindy went back to work uh, shooting some stuff. So that's. Yes. So that's I went back on the Goldberg. So they are, um, they are going back They're They're, they're working on shows and very, very safe. I didn't feel um, that I, I wasn't, um, you know, safe at all. I, I think that they are so on top of it. So, um, yeah, I just don't well, want to be the one that brings are it essential, all down. So. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel, yeah. Mindy, do you feel happier being able to be back to work and acting again? Like that part of you was missing? Do you, does there, is there like, is there sort well, of a, the, the a, creative a part? Yeah. I, I think it's the, certainly the creative part. I mean, um, we, we all sort of suffer from that because, yeah you have what you have right now is just zoom and i've done improv on zoom it's kind of you know a little clunky and hard. at least i felt clunky um it's weird and um so it, it just is it, it is really hard and i miss theater i miss working i don't miss auditioning <laughs> um <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah but um yeah so there's a lot of stuff that you miss and then um I think for all of us there, we've, we've lost that creative thing. I wanted to try to um, redo my apartment and this, I'm having the most unfun time in my entire <laughs> life. Oh, no. And it's not even that big of a deal. I can't even do construction. I'm just talking about, Oh my God, my, my dog pooped on my rug that I just bought and I don't want right. it now. Right. So um, don't return it. Don't return it. She's talking can't. about the dog and I don't want the dog now. Right, right. I don't want the dog <laughs> out. But <laughs> um, great. so it's stupid stuff, but I don't know about you guys, but everything is heightened so yeah. much more. So I will get much more emotional and things will bother me a whole lot more. Yeah. Yeah. than ever before. And I feel out of control. And I think that I need to get that on meds and go to Santa Barbara. And, um, <laughs> but um, I do think that that's the hardest thing. Yeah. And so anytime that you can relate to people on Zoom or on uh, FaceTime or things like that to keep us all connected, because I do go to the stores and stuff. Did okay. you guys all like, yeah. I go to Target and then just to, I have to, I just have to do my thing. Um, but, uh, so it is, it's been, it's been a little tough and I would say probably the last couple of months though, in the beginning, I thought it was going to be great right, and it's not, right, yeah. and it's not. <laughs> yeah. I really like what you said. I think Mindy, what you said about kind of continuing that acknowledgement that even, and David, you said it too, even if you're having what feels like a normal kind of decent day that it feels surprising when a small thing happens and you suddenly feel so vulnerable or feel so like, like, well, I'm just so stressed out about this. Cause that's happened mm. to me. That <clears> happened to me Over, last night. Overwhelmed. Like, kind of a, yeah, totally. kind of a small thing. And I was like, but I had a good day. Why am I about to start bawling? This isn't worth overwhelmed. it. And it's like, mm -hmm. that stuff is just in there on all of us all the time. And we have to it be kind to ourselves because it's back there. Even if you're like, I had a good day today. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, but that's back there, you know, yeah. and that could trigger mm -hmm. something. So I like, I like that. I think I really that's like, great I think, to hear. I think I know, like, I'm definitely purely happy when I get to go to work and be creative and be around. I'm definitely a people person. And then when I come home and have my kids and I'm happy and there's income. And I think the best way to relate to it is I, I know I always felt terrible when athletes had to retire. And now I feel a little more understanding of hint more, mm -hmm. not that at all. But like when you can't, like these yeah. poor, you know, men and women, they have to retire from their sport. And it's like, they can't do that anymore. Something they did their whole lives and mastered it mm. and took it to a high level or, or anyone is like great at their passion. They get to do that every day for their career. Like to retire. Oh my God, my brain goes at my heart and my goes out to them. Well, oh. and also too, That's I the get cool I'm, thing I'm about acting though. The cool. Th yeah. We're lucky. We don't That's have to the retire. cool thing about being an actor is you can, you can, you can literally keep acting until you like into your grave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, there's roles that, you know, like I want to shoot your actual death dead. scene, Dave. Like when you really die, <laughs> I want you to I want you at right my there. grave site. Shooting I want it. you and there. I'll, I'll do the whole way. I'll go, I'll do right. You pass away the embalming. When I start thing, feeling, when I start up. coming on, I'm down. calling you. Yeah, give a we'll, call. We'll both be about 86, but you know. Dave, I already have cameras in your house. You don't even know about <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> All angles. Oh boy. Weird stuff in the shower you do. It's a little, yes, oh, that's we a little it's, it's it. very <laughs> awkward. Yeah. It's very awkward. And I am always, I don't know about you guys, but I, I probably buy something on Amazon every 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. My, my lady is just Amazon. It's box after box after box. What is yeah. going on here? Yeah. <laughs> It's because it's it's we 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 feel we feel so confined and we feel so um, it, trapped, and that is yeah. that is again that is the connection to the outside world and it's like things will make me feel a little bit better yes. and sometimes they just do. I got a salt shaker. Well, I'm so excited today. Yeah. I got and, a pepper uh, grinder from yeah. there you uh, go. Uh, Amazon. Uh, uh, Congrats. My yeah. daughter, my daughter had her seventh birthday this weekend, uh, and you would think it was Christmas in our house because we're just overcompensated. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then we gave her three, you know, her sisters three. We gave her presents as well because we felt bad. So it's like it was literally Christmas at the Burns. <laughs> we yeah. just ordered we'll a fourteen foot, that. a fourteen foot trampoline sitting out oh, in boxes great. right nice. now. Yeah. Uh, I'm not oh, gonna try to. That. I'm not gonna. I was gonna try that. to man up, and then I was like, <laughs> "Handyman." Yeah, that's the worst. Uh -huh. oh, that's like I an got IKEA my dad dresser. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to be oh. the person who assembled your trampoline wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But <laughs> oh, we'll film it. We're still filming call, it. We'll film it. It could be my death scene. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm like, you know dude, I mean? you should do that. You should. Yeah, do go it. ahead, do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We don't so, have a budget shall... to go to your 86. The budget doesn't, we don't have it that. Doesn't, it doesn't go that all that way. Huh? <laughs> we have like another six months. So like, let's get it in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, I just wanted to hear Netflix from Seychelles really quick. Let's get a cool fund me. Well, she only, she oh. only told us about her pepper grinder. I was just oh. going to oh. see if she had. Do you have <laughs> pepper my grinder for you in Turkey? For, yeah, we'll see. Oh. Um, my oh. question for you and, and kind of for everyone is, I mean, we talked a little bit about getting the you know, bringing stuff in. I got a new ergonomic chair because it turns out my neck can't take this much zoom. <laughs> oh, so that's cool. Can we see uh, but nice. can we I, have, see I haven't put it. I haven't put it together yet. Okay. Dave, do you mind coming over yeah, and I'll come, I'll come right over up with the uh, <laughs> done and Ask make Gary. sure PJ, PJ oh, Gary can fix anything. I'll, that's probably I'll, true. I'll get the cameras. I'll, I'll call ahead. Yeah, please do. But I was gonna say, do you have like as we're talking about you know feeling <laughs> out of touch with our creative side? Do you? <laughs> Do you Seychelles and and everybody else like have like things that you do to still create or feel connected to that part of yourself? Um, yeah, I, I was gonna say I just in, in terms of like either ordering stuff or doing unexpected new hobby stuff in quarantine. I, um, I my dad has an old accordion from his childhood that I got. That I, I got knew old. whatever you said was gonna be I, amazing, yeah, and this I, was I not got, planned. <laughs> I got an wow. accordion repaired, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna try to learn accordion. And then uh, my boyfriend's mom has an auto harp, and oh, so I like, have an auto harp. Like, what? it's really, it's. I mean, it's pretty easy, and it's yeah. pretty fun. You just and press you feel buttons, like a, and it sounds so good. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I've been kind of like futzing around with that and trying to get back to the guitar. Um. Love that. And reading oh. more. Reading. Um. I, yeah. Um. But. You know, there's more auditions coming in, so I'm, 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 you know, doing some more acting lately, which is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did like a remote reader last night, which was weird. Um, oh yeah. But it's just like the new thing because wow. you know, a you I had reader? a scene. I had a scene last night where I had to for an audition where I had to have a coughing fit. <laughs> and the uh, an original reader <laughs> that I was going to do, we were going to do it outside. And then I was like, oh, wait, I realized, you know, I'm supposed to like <laughs> be choking on something. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I don't think I'm comfortable with that. I'm like, that's, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, good call. Um, good call. Music. Is the I, reader though? Is that is that is that from the the casting people or someone? Um, knew? it was it was someone I knew who I've done oh, okay. auditions with before, and I you oh, know I okay, had to okay. put my computer up on an ottoman on top of a crate, and then my oh, computer, yeah. so like I could like yeah. look her in the eye. Oh my um, god! The whole thing. Have you? Has anybody gone anywhere? Like, um, I haven't flown anywhere, but I have. Uh, driven to Palm Springs. I've driven to um, right, right outside of Vegas. Um, so staying with people for a couple of days just um, to get out of your, you know, your, 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 your the wall of you, where you live, and 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 it felt safe about that. Anybody else do that? No, and I travel so not much yet. during Road the year, trip. usually oh. for for work okay. and stuff. And I have not not slept in my own bed in you know what six months. I mean, I don't. Oh, wow. I, I think Seattle, Mindy, our improv trip to Seattle was the last time that I really went anywhere. And and by now, I usually would have been like, oh, I've been like eight different places, or yeah. you know, minimum just like doing cons and stuff. And so you're not going to be able to. But do we Janet. just haven't done it. Janet, are you going to be able to do Sketchfest? 
TBD. Uh, uh, it's true. Yeah. I mean, you don't know you, how can you yeah. even try to plan for that? That's a, that's a daily, that's a daily thought. And, and we haven't like sort of officially announced anything right. yet, but you know, and it would be our 20th. So we're trying to figure out, you know, wow. what that should oh, look that's like, or awesome. if it should, we should wait. And it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's really strange. It's strange, but oh. yeah, that human interaction, we all still miss it. And it's funny, you know, you were saying that Mindy too, about, uh, like going to the store and stuff. I feel like I'm really good at the things I now normally do. Like I do go to physical therapy and we all, everybody's wearing gloves and we're washing mm -hmm. our hands nonstop. Every house yeah. you never take off your mask and you're separated from other people. And so I got that. By the way, down. Dave doesn't give a store, crap about the store. Gone. Gone. <laughs> he has a thing against he knows I don't know what it is. I think like, it was uh, like, uh, Janet's in dog. pain. I'm going to get yeah. out of here. Yeah. yeah. But then like, if I break that and I like, like we went for a really long walk and went to this great coffee place. That's like, you know, three and a half miles away. We we're just like, yeah, this is going to be our big trip. And I went there and all it was, was just like, you know, you line up outside and then you give your, you put your credit card in. I fumbled as if I had never been like, wait a minute, I do this all the time at the grocery store, but like, just take it and move it right to this other place. Yeah. And I'm like, oh gosh, I'm sorry. Um, do, do, do I do, should I, do I do this cash? No, you don't want cash. You want me to touch you. Why, why would you want to talk to <laughs> Okay, I'll just, so I should just put it in. Like, who is that? She, I forgot how to do it just because it was a different place. I don't know. Oh my God. I definitely forget how to people like, I'm aware yeah. that, I need, <laughs> that I need to keep a distance and I have my mask, but I go out so rarely that it, it's new every time. Yeah. We have, uh, so in case you missed it, I doubt anybody in our chat did, but uh, Cora is now on Netflix, at least in the US. And yep. um, we kind of timed this around that. I didn't want to do it right before Cora got to Netflix because the comics continue. The animated series right so we let you have some time to watch and catch up on Korra or watch it for the 300th time or whatever and uh so now we're continuing on with these comics um have all of you watched it have you revisited it or are you watching other things uh now to kind of pass the time I'm watching my daughter watch it it's amazing <laughs> yeah oh, that's she's awesome. four years old and and she digs it though i mean really, she, really? She, yes it's amazing. i've been holding she's, off should i do that yeah are you ready is that old enough she went right in dude. Okay, loves it she Great. loves it but my child is very extremely extremely highly intelligent so <laughs> well, i know that <laughs> oh, okay well <laughs> i know sorry Pete. i know dave i know um no but she I have really not does watched it's it. amazing i have not watched it but i have watched um I just was watching, and she's gone. And I was telling them, uh, um, "No one cares." Uh, train oh. to Busan. <laughs> train Busi. to Busan. It is wonderful because it's. Oh. Um, I think it's Korean, and they. <laughs> oh my God! The, the their movie making is astounding. Oh wow! And um, it is. I. This is me. I'm very dark, so I'm watching a movie about zombies, but it's not like we. It's just a really good movie, and and it's like. I realized, oh, it's 12 30 in the morning. I'm still watching. <laughs> and then good night. Um, so I can't sleep. But um, I watch really dark stuff. So if anybody okay. has any, any there's something wanna... called dark literally on Netflix. It's a That's German. That's what's called show. something called dark? No, or it's called dark. dark. Just oh, dark. Oh. oh. It's a, has anybody seen it? It's no. German. Yes. Oh, I dude, have. it's German I made. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's subtitled and it's <gasps> dark. And it's, no, but it's tremendous. It's really good. My, my, my good. friend. Oh, I wow. love stuff like that. Like, yeah. Multiple timelines, kind of time zone like, I, I don't know, or Twilight Zone rather. Uh, it, yeah, it, I really yeah. liked it. It's out yeah. there. That's good. Cool. I'm watching, Av I'm still watching Avatar, re-watching Avatar. Oh, uh, nice. Airbender from when it came out on Netflix. So once I get caught up, I'm going to, I'll watch Cora again, which I haven't seen. Yeah, it's really good. Cora's really good years, if you so. haven't uh, seen it yet, Janet. I should watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> I've, I've never saw it. I hear it's good. I hear it's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. The lead is okay. Like you know, the lead's okay. Fair. Fair. A solid six, like a six out of 10 solid oh, six. Yeah. Oh. She's decent. Up from a yeah. five. This is yeah. really good to hear from oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were five in me the whole time we were yeah. recording. That oh, yeah. That was 4.5. Right. <laughs> That's good. Oh, okay. 4.5. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, rounded <laughs> I rounded up. Uh, <laughs> well, I know. So some folks have kids and some folks have pets. How, how are they all doing during, during quarantine? But like while, while you're home with them all the time, I guess. 
I feel like I don't like everyone's saying they're watching shows and like I, you know, no. two kids and a pregnant wife. I don't. I, yes. I I mean, literally. So to be creative too, it's like I I created a, a show with a buddy that's gonna we're gonna have more episodes called Dad's Cooking. <laughs> So with this guy, great dad's buddy. cookie or yeah. dad's cooking, uh, dad's <laughs> cookie probably would have been a better title, but it's dad's <laughs> cooking uh, with this great chef. His name is Jet Tila. And then we're going to p- start pumping out more, more shows. But uh, if you want to know how to oh, make right. Pat see you, the first one's up. Look at the Instagram. Ooh. Jet Tila is great. Yeah. What? That's literally my creativity awesome. and it has to be That's functional so in the life creative. of my, you know, with interacting with my children and like I have little God. windows to do things. So not a great story, guys. Not a great story. I just started um, reading. I, <laughs> I find okay. that uh, my 25-year-old son is in mm-hmm. heaven. Why? Uh, that all this is taking place because all he, mm. all, all he spends time in is his room on the computer. So uh, nothing's right, yeah. changed. Of course, of course. And, um, but my dog, uh, my dog is slowed down and she's, she's 11 now. And I've uh-huh. seen that change. So now I'm getting emotional about it. Then I start mm. thinking about me getting older. And so it just, it's like a domino thing. And, and my dog, uh, well, I mean, she's also, I mean, they, they all are attached to us. So I, the fact that we're spending more time at home, there's good and bad to it. Um, and so, cause then I can see everything that is not, you uh, know. Yeah, totally. Oh, but man. she's great. I mean, she's really great. Yeah. Except she, oh, I'm yeah. trumping you. Yeah. I'm trumping and, oh, you. Oh, 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 Who's that? You just got upstage, Poppy. Sorry. This is the newest. This is the newest addition to the family. How many do you have now, David? This is number five. No, this you is... don't. Oh. No, you don't. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love it. That's five. So... Number five. This I is Lucy. That. Is that this his is name? Lucy. Oh, Lucy. Yeah, number Lucy. five. Lucy. Number five. <laughs> number like five a is panda. not a bad name. I like the you eyeliner know, her that eyes she's are got. So big and soulful. My cat's so sleeping. So I'm not gonna wake her up. Oh, and Kara, where's your cat? Yeah, where's mine. Your cat? Mine are also sleeping, but Rex. Rex is a camera. Like he loves it. I'll, I'll be right, right back. Let's get right. <laughs> Steve, this I, is I this is a non-animal time. owner. How much poop is oh, in your no, house? Yes, yes, oh, yes, oh, here's I have a back. I have a backyard. Oh, so. Rex. Oh, I, I like that I if you didn't have a backyard, your dogs would be pooping in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine like like that. Wait, they don't poop in your house. No, Mindy's pooping on the rug. Not so much. Not for Mindy. (laughs) Just ask a quick question. What's behind Mindy's ghost world that's like spinning over your right shoulder, man? Oh, is that a mirror with a? Oh, it's a mirror because I have a. Okay. Oh right. Ah. I'm just like. How that is kind of cool. I'm in a trance. I'm in a trance. It's the spirit. (laughs) And you know, if if you have a mirror. You have a mirror up to a fan, and the mirror yes. reflects it. That makes it cooler. Very good, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like Thank you so fans. much for participating in educating. I got that. AJ. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you so, so much. Dark. Great work, everybody. Uh... <laughs> so we have a, a really common theme in our questions from the chat. So answer this if you would like to, all of you. But if you could play, if you could have voiced any other character in Korra. Who would you most want to voice? Wow. Other than our own, obviously. Yeah, very, very popular Wait, sorry, question. I ca- so. Sorry, my internet went out. What was the question again? If you could play any other character mm-hmm. than who you did in Korra, uh, who would you most want to voice? Asami. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jealous much? What character? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Asami yes. for me. Um. Can we, can it be from, does it have to, can it be from the original Avatar? I say, yeah. Yeah, let's Wait, throw it's it from up Korra, right? Yeah. Do you remember Uncle Boomy? Boon, Boon, oh, yeah. Uh, we love Uncle Boomy. No, the, the, like, crazy guy. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. I, it's been so long since I watched it. <laughs> oh, do him, a, do him a some more. Do him some more. Yeah, wait, who is it? I didn't, like, do it again. I missed it. Do it again. I don't know who it is. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Keaton I Savage. Can I you just, do that I one d- more time? Keaton Savage. <laughs> do it again. Um, you know, I, it's been so long, but it was, he was like, ah, you know, I, I can figure it out, you know? Oh, oh I love oh. it. Uh, you guy. know who it is? What, what's the name? <laughs> Michael. Uh, Michael Keaton? Was, no, He's what in actor? The Earth Kingdom. What, what actor? Get the job. Uncle, Talk to Uncle guys. What? Me? What actor is she mentioning? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Higgins. I can't remember who does that. Higgins. 
Oh, oh Higgins John is Michael, Eric oh, on our uh, show. Uh, Michael, David Michael Higgins. John Michael. John, John, Michael, John, Michael, Higgins. John, John Michael Higgins. John Michael ours. Higgins. That's who she's doing though. It's like <laughs> he's the greatest. <laughs> You know who I worship, like, like worship, and I don't even, I, I, I can't even like be in the same room with him when he's doing because he's so inc- D anything D, D Bradley ben. Baker I does. Know. It's like because he does crazy. all the special effects for the, the animals man. too, and just any and every. I'm always like, but then the you don't know how so he's amazing. making those sounds. Oh, it's insane. It feels uh, like he has like a, yeah. a thing in his pocket that's actually making the sound. It yeah. can't be coming from his he's face. Cool, man. I, I feel like that. he's it's our amazing. Michael Jordan of voices. Yeah. Like he's yeah. our yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, really is Jordan. like, oh, would you like that sound? Hold on a second. I can't, yeah. I can't even make a joke <laughs> of how he's no, at he other level. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't sound like a human. No, like, no. Exactly. It's like a ventriloquist. It's like, yes. Yes. Yeah. I would do actually. I love um, PJ's character because oh, he's such a yeah, fucking idiot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You're like, well, I, um, there's some choices I could have made better for the P instead of PJ. Uh, no, like shot but he's, you know what I mean? He's. Just, I love because you have this incredible freedom to improvise, and it works perfectly with your uh, with your character. And you're just kind of this. Like I don't even know if you yeah. know, you know, I could just yeah. I guess see some do, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of be in real life. I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying to get through the day. Just watch you, you yeah. know, and then and then I loved you because then um you know you would be told, all right, less of that. Let's try to keep going. Oh, right. uh, yeah, you just <laughs> I loved watching you. Yes, it was really I fun. love you, Mindy. Let's go to Santa Barbara together <laughs> don't bring the kids no i can't have to i have to i have no child care i have no child care what i would do for child care right now, oh Michael. god yeah right oh i'd kill for child care just, so you just have two on the way two just and Dave. one on the way yeah two and then one on the way so stupid so dumb Ooh, wow <laughs> so dumbest thing i've ever done in my life no, we're excited. We're excited. You're only we're excited. 25, but... yeah. We're going to go for five. We're going to go for five. Oh, okay. That's oh, such really a lie. Are. That is such a lie. That is okay. such a lie. Oh, God. Not with that attitude that you just showed yeah. us. That's right. <laughs> no, we're excited. I'm being facetious. We're being facetious. I'm going to keep allowed. two. I'm going to keep two of the three. So <laughs> you know what I want to do more than anything? Yeah. I want to get a Manny and a Penny. Ooh. Anybody do that yet? I would love to go. Oh. Yeah. Medicare. Like but you can now. You're outside. Guess, and you're yeah. I haven't even cut my. Oh, now, now the new thing is if it's <laughs> outside, you can. So oh yeah. Long. Outside, every people are doing it. Um, I have cut my hair. I've done my hair two or three times. I, I mean, not I, myself. I go somewhere. But she has. She it's a friend, and she does it outside of her home. So you're outdoors. Yeah. And and unfortunately, we do not share the same uh, political views. So that's a tough one. Ooh. Yeah, right. Right I've now, I've had it at a hair salon before. Yeah. You walk yeah, I mean, out. I mean, like a little trim, but you know, still. Yeah, basic. I mean, but you, but you, you would never know, girl. You and you also have that great hair that it doesn't really. matter because you have a lot of hair and you can. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm just always putting it up, or when it gets too long, or yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got a kind of similar thing. Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, if we if we have concluded our which character would you rather play? Um. A lot of questions also about how to get started in voice acting. I'm sure you get that a lot, but maybe we can touch on it briefly. Just any advice? Um, well, basic. I always, I don't know about you guys, but I always uh, direct people to D Bradley Baker, right? I want to be a voice, I want to be a voice actor.com, no? Yep. And it's amazing. Oh, wow. Every, it's an amazing resource there. for all of us. It's, it's amazing. For, and, and actually, as an established voiceover actor, you should still go to the site. And I keep telling myself to do it. There's so much information there that, uh, that's great. So I would, you know, for everybody out there who's interested, oh, wow. it's all know. there listed. D. Baker did it. Um, it's uh, I want What's to be called? a voice. I, I want to be a voice actor dot com. I do want to be a voice actor. I, I also <laughs> I also just took um, I'm, I'm taking and, class with Lori Allen, Lori Allen. Um, she is Pearl on SpongeBob. Oh, and um, nice. she does a lot of voiceover stuff. And I took a, a four week class. I have learned so much. Wow. And I'm wow. going to do it again because I want to learn more and I want to get more secure. And um, let's see if I have, um, well, if you go to lauriallen.com, I guess she'll probably have information. But I, I think um, to take, to take, 
classes in this, especially right now when you can yeah. and it's easier. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that would be my first. Uh, yeah, my, my, get find somebody online that you love. See if they they have Bob Bergen. People have lots of um, there are lots of you know act, voiceover actors that do teach. You, so you know, pick somebody. That. But Janet, geez, you're amazing. Yeah. Janet, are you holding the mic now, Janet? You, you, yeah, I moved yeah. into like game show, like yeah, American yeah. <laughs> Idol mode. Yeah. Because I wanted to be able to move around. I yeah. Like, I had to stretch my legs yeah. and I had to move this thing. And just now share I'm just with like us. Just free share. and easy. Like yeah, I'm on share. a cruise. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do a number. Do a number, Janet. Yeah. Let's spice this oh, up a I bit. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I couldn't. Give possibly. us a number, kid. Give Secret us a number. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Secret tunnel. You got it. You got it. Uh, <laughs> secret tunnels please tell me that doesn't exist that's just the thing you just said up made secret, oh do don't you even don't you dare wait a minute were you just singing secret with the fans. tunnels what is that i don't know that either i don't know watch uh from last airbender oh oh Ooh. wait didn't uh wow who's, who's saying didn't d bradley who sang the original was that him he played the hippie right he might have oh maybe he did sing it i don't know i don't remember Looking in the tunnels, it might have been. Oh, this is the D. Bradley Baker show. Nice call, Savage. (laughs) Yeah. Well, we know who we need to have on next time uh, at this rate. Yeah. Can we get the real Keaton Savage on next time? (laughs) (laughs) My roommate for everyone who, uh, but. um, Is your roommate uh, there? Let's get the roommate to pop in. I don't know. He's not here. Um, I'm just stealing his identity. Let's get a morning zoo show and have done with it. Yeah. (laughs) Let's get your roommate in here. Let's get Keaton in here now. We'll do it live. I have a separate character. I have a different name, a, a different Zoom account. So what I is know. it? What is it? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. I'm going to videotape that person getting killed like, as well, Dave. I'm going to videotape We don't, well, we can't get on unless we're invited. Yeah. What? Here's, here's another kind of. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kara, you're here. Come on. Kara, I forgot oh, you're here. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Don't let me. I'm, I'm trying to keep up. Like, chat this is for is Deep crazy. Horse Comics. What is it? What, what? is this again? A lot of <laughs> Uh, we we want to so we have to wrap up by 2 p.m. folks. What? Just so y'all know. So um, we could probably take a couple more questions. The giveaway is still open. We'll draw a winner in about five Give minutes. Um, yeah, here's a fun question. Because this is terrible. <laughs> are are you just Someone like spamming? Are you trying to enter over there, PJ? Yes. Who's drinking <laughs> a little bit more? Who's drinking a little bit more? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, Here's look at PJ. Who's cup. drinking a little bit more than you know? Uh, you know, a Saturday night. I, I haven't oh. been drinking. Oh my god, just me. I, I know. Had the kids. I drink way less. Is, yeah, yeah, me too. It's like oh, way can't. less. Like oh, I am. I am a mess. <laughs> But you look great. Sure you're not look good. You look great, and we love Mindy, you. Mindy, you do yeah. look great. Love you. Yeah. I'm sure you're you are not alone in that. I know. No, no, uh, oh yeah, I know so a lot of people who are. Yeah. We talked about shows and movies a little bit. Uh, people are also curious what kind of music you're listening to. Do you use like Spotify or do you have like any particular oh. genres that you like? Mm-hmm. I go to thebeatjunkies.com. That's nice. my uh, yeah. site. Yeah. Uh, nice plug. Oh, nice plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat Junkie, shout out. That's where I get all my music, my record. I love Spotify. Um, let's see. What I, I, I don't remember what I've been. <laughs> I, I just no, listen to, answer, I, yeah, I listen to, like, to Alexa. It. I listen to it like whatever Alexa. Play. But you know what's so, I guess because, you know, we're during this pandemic, I am so much clearly I'm Alexa more too. emotional. Hello. But if you play that song, If the World Was Ending, do you know that song? No. Alexa, play If the World Was Ending. <laughs> Kidding. I have literally <laughs> been. Kidding. But I can like bad. cry. I'm like, oh, if, they, if they were dying, if the earthquake and they came together. Oh, um, I think I love something. I will in the morning. I've just started putting uh, Alexa on. off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, the... shut up. Excuse me. <laughs> In the morning, I just She's started putting on. I, I got. Um, I want to hear like smash, crash, glass, really things need... breaking over there. If you're really going for it, PJ, go on. Um, no, I've been listening a lot to. Um, hey Google, play. Oh, it'll probably answer me now. Yeah. Play. Um, it will. St- stopping stress music. Oh, <laughs> nice. And then it's you wake up and you sit and you're having your coffee and it is this really sort of. And I am not a meditator, 
but it kind of just helps me with my day a little bit. But um, I, I like that. I dig I, like the rain station on YouTube. Like you can sleep and you, you yes. put rain yes. on with thunder and stuff. That's that's amazing. You know, I love that. Mm-hmm. What's well, also good too, for stress is uh. I, for for stress for me, I like flute music, <laughs> like or like like Native American flute. Music. So oh, if you just yeah, like Google yeah, yeah. like Native American, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's beautiful. And it's that's like beautiful. it's like wood wooden flutes, and and they yes. a lot of times they have like 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 eagle calls in the back, or you oh, know, wow. and um so and it's like I, I know, always I like whenever exactly. I'm stressed, I always Google that kind. Of, like there's like the other day I was listening to a guy named uh, Fire uh, Joseph Firecrow. Oh, that's, that's not yeah. his. Oh, Joseph Firecrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, uh, but um, Firecrow yeah. and I go. We, that's we go. No, no, stress, JFC. Though. JFC. JFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, JFC. JFC. You know what? Just because you have initials for a name doesn't mean you have to impose that on everybody. He does that to everybody. Uh, how do you, you think do he notice? rolls? JFC rolls the JFC. He doesn't do that to everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like monks Shut chanting. Up. I'm not even kidding. Monks. Ooh, oh no, that's yeah. also very calming. Yeah. Give me a give me a monk with an old or creepy tune. depending. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dave, when we're shooting your death scene, we'll have them there. I can't wait for my death scene. (laughs) There's another flute player called uh, Paul Horn, who's another. Paul um, Horn? It's a little on the nose. It's a little on the nose. (laughs) (laughs) Or off the nose. It was really Paul Pembleton, but he's like, that's not going to play. It's not going to play. It's got to be in the wind family. Yeah, it's got to be in the wind family. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but his agent's like, you gotta lose the Pamelton. You gotta lose the Pamelton. <laughs> Not gonna work. What Not should we go work. with? Uh, Horn. Horn oh, it is. That's a great idea. Uh, I'm looking through. So- oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh no, I was just saying the union already had a Paul Pamelton as well, so he had to switch it up. That's too inside. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Insider baseball. Uh, <laughs> gosh, we're getting a lot of questions from the chat about things like the live series and and other things. We can't. I don't really have any info on that. I don't know if anybody else here does either, because that's definitely Dark Horse just licenses the comics and the art books. That's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm not, I don't know anything about what you know. I mean, yeah. obviously, we um, if we either. follow the news, we know that the that Mike and Brian are not involved with the live series anymore and that's really oh. i always find i always find stuff out from fans like i never hear about <laughs> anything for i'm surprised right. i didn't I got hear about you. this reading from a fan before i knew it was happening even though i said i would do it um that's how inside like everyone always has information i'm like oh really oh good to know like so mm-hmm. i don't I never know anything yeah we got we got a I, bit I, of a was, heads up yeah. but not a lot like from because we are dark horses you know partnering with netflix they'll keep us in the loop but it, it does tend to be kind of last minute sometimes um the good thing though the comics are definitely still the official continuation of the animated series uh, mike is always one of the writers on them if you didn't know um what? actually i totally i i am very remiss i did not shout out the comics creators earlier um i should have done that turf wars yeah so mike Martino is the co-writer uh, or sole writer in this case on all of the Avatar and Korra comics pretty much. Irene Co is the amazing artist on Turf Love Wars. Um, we've got Colors by Killian Ng, um, also Jane Bach, and then uh, Heather Campbell, who's a fan favorite artist, is one of the cover artists throughout. So wow. um, they do an amazing oh, job. Uh, we have a slightly different crew on Ruins of the Empire, which is the next trilogy in the series. But yeah, Turf Wars, that's the crew, um, gorgeous art, and Mike and Brian both work on these comics, and so although they step back from the live action series, they are going to continue working with us on comics, so. Oh, nice. Um, really, um, really cool. Yeah. Cool. There. I think it's, you know, that's kind of the story they want to tell, is, is what's happening in the comics, so. Mm-hmm. Go, going back to the show just for a second, who, do, uh, the music for Legend of Korra, it's, it's, when I put the show on, oh, and yeah. the- Jeremy it's Zuckerman. Gorgeous. It's yeah. his buddy. What's, yeah. Gorgeous. What's his name? Jeremy Zuckerman. Man, it is a tremendous. Yeah. The music Beautiful on that show is gorgeous. It really it's, is. If you go on, if you go on Spotify, he's scored a few other uh, things, and recently he did he's like amazing. a couple of nature. Let's listen to him. We should listen and, to him. Oh, his perfect. soundtracks on yeah. Spotify are so good. I'm gonna look. Really? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that. Can up, you get this that's... soundtrack on? Can you find the Legend of Coral? I think I think you might here. Let me Google. Get it. Just while you're looking. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's on Spotify. If you have Spotify, I'm sure it's on other streaming stuff too. Wow, that's cool. We should see if we can add that. Uh, Shout out. 
I'm sorry, is J- Jeremy, what's his last name again? Zuck- I remember. Zuckerman. Yeah. Shout out Jeremy. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. He's got that like Dixieland kind of New Orleans around the, I mean, just so many mm-hmm, cool mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I just want the one, one little final note though, you know, the guy stepped away from the live, but I just want to say like how incredibly classy if you if you go on their instagram page is the letter while they're stepping away mm-hmm. from netflix you know live version of the show and just like how they care so much about their class art. yeah just yeah. Class. Like class and dignity and treating everyone with dignity and respect and wishing nothing but the best for the project but you know creating like trump stepped away yeah very <laughs> similar just, just very class. similar uh, it's reeks class yeah just right on point Right on point. Was it was so very thoughtful. Classy. Sorry, I had I had to for one second. <laughs> it's okay. Just for a second, David. Maybe yeah, no, be, they. I wouldn't even make a joke on that. One. No. <laughs> Handled it well, and like I said, I they very open. Continue to work on the comics. Those Avatar comics I mentioned that we have coming up, the Katara one and the Tope one. Um, so stay tuned for more. We're continuing to work with Nickelodeon, and uh, everything we do is nice. very much in step in partnership with that crew. So. Um, like I said, when we can announce more, it'll be a big joint effort and we'll make a lot of noise. So, so you hear about it first, but. Uh, and look so, what we uh, got. Look, we had a chance to all be together. We haven't seen each other in a while. Yes. And to still set a, celebrate something that we did a long time ago that keeps on giving. And it is, um, thank you, Cara, for, you know, making this all happen. Thank you, Jen, for making all this happen. Because yes. I think this is a really special project that we um, were able to be a part of. And it's really lovely and yeah. car can you send mindy a t-shirt that's all she wants Just really. a t-shirt. i don't want a t-shirt i want a, what do you want? <laughs> i want to i want to I, I don't know what i want PJ, i know you want something we'll find, pj we'll i want something. you to send Hello? me the t-shirt you have so my that ex I can my put it extra ex, large uh, it's like i want to put it on i look so <laughs> it will good be it'll be so a good. gown for me it'll no, be you look great you look great you never dress poorly no anything you wear just really love bros love bros I love you. I will follow up uh, with Nickelodeon. They probably have the other swag, but I want to send you guys. I want to make sure that everybody has the comics. Yeah, the book. I want that book. I want to hold it. I want the book. I'm going to see if I can, when they come back, because they are coming back in stock, as I said at the top of the show, uh, everything is coming back into stock. It's just delayed thanks to COVID. Is this the the second book or is this a book we've already had? um, So there are, we just finished the first and then it's a trilogy. So there are three paperbacks. And then they're collected in a big library edition, which is our, yeah, like a, oh, a big nah, art I just nah. found this. We all signed this, by the way. I just found this thing. Ooh. Everyone in this Fine picture. Print. Oh, oh wait, that's really? Awesome. We all signed that's that great. for you? Yeah, we all signed that. So, Zelda signed that. that? Did Zelda I'm gonna, sign I'm gonna, that? I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna come that's steal that next time. That. That's when fine. I, yeah. That's fine. Next time I, when that's I come fine. over, I'm just going to kind of sneak it. <laughs> that's yeah. fine. You're such an idiot. I care. Mindy stole a lot of stuff from me already, so it's totally good. I well, you know stick, when, when he's sticky when he's fingers doing that Mindy. show, I yeah. go in and talk to the kids. They give me what I want. Oh, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to unwind when Aunt Mindy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna call our contest closed now. We drew a winner. Oh, yeah. congratulations Ooh. to Ooh. Roselle Damien. RD. 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 Lucky you, you won a copy of Turf Wars Part 1, which we read today, uh, finished reading today, uh, Part 2 and Part 3, all three trade paperbacks. So we'll uh, get those sent out to you. All you need to do is send us a whisper, which is like a private message here on Twitch. Um, and we're Dark Horse Comics, or you can hit one of our mods, but Dark Horse Comics works just fine. So can, just, I, uh, can I make what's a suggestion What's a mod? What's a mod? Moderator. Um, it's that's also, that's what, I live, that's what I live. I lived in the mods at Boston College, so that's just oh, wow. yeah, the mods. I learned something today. If you say Spoken that at Boston College, mods. that's a big deal. It's a big deal. It was what an is honor. That? It was the honor of my life. So we'll end it with this. They they literally in 1972 they didn't have enough housing, so they built these like very fast, like kind of janky 70s, like eight you know eight people can essentially like live in one, uh, and then the kids <laughs> loved it. So no, it was like. It wasn't the high end living, let me tell you that. But the kids loved it so much. So literally since 1972, still to present day, there's this little section with probably like 70 mods on lower campus where the seniors get to live. It was a magical time. Wow. Man, you didn't tell me about that when you did my podcast episode. I should have. Which is coming out this week. Oh! oh. oh. Nice drop. What? You just that's, drop that. I know. That was coincidence. Yeah. Boom. Tell Thank us, you. Let's, 
let's conclude with that, shall we? Uh, what is there anything that each of you would like to shout out that you have coming up next now that we're sort of getting back into? Yeah, I, w- I wanted to shout out what uh, PJ mentioned. You, t- you were speaking. What's the uh, the charity you were speaking of earlier? Oh, yeah. So next time and, and then Seychelle has it or sorry, Keaton Savage is an incredible charity. <laughs> we have to think about <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah, since Bolin and Mako, you know, were essentially homeless as the youth, youth, I help fundraise and raise money for this an amazing organization in Los Angeles called LA Family Housing. And they have the highest success rate of getting families, you know, and people off the streets and keeping them off because they deal with the whole person. So they give them housing, but they also deal with the psychological issues. Uh, and, you know, they take care of the whole person and help them find work. And, and you know, it's really a beautiful highly successful organizations that a lot of people around America are modeling off of them. And we're the homeless cap of the country and it's, it's, it's really bad here. So, uh, yeah. so what's the site? How do people find it? What yeah. Go it? to lafamily.org. Okay. lafamily.org. I'm going there. I'm going to check it out. I hope that's what it is. I just got it wrong. Son of a bitch. I just popped yeah. it in the chat too. So there you I think go, it's folks. LA, LA family housing. Wait, let's get it right though. <laughs> LA it's LA family housing. LAFH.org. Yeah, LA, yeah LAFH.org. LA, LAFH.org. Like we said, LAH.org. LAFH. Like the whole time. LAFH. Since, <laughs> since one o'clock Pacific time. <laughs> LAFH.org. Great. Give a couple of dollars. And Keaton, you had someone, and I feel yeah, like they probably uh, work at Cahoots. <laughs> yeah, I, I volunteer at this place called My Friend's Place. And it's, uh, they've been in LA serving um, youth experiencing homelessness for 30, over 30 years now. Um, It's usually a drop-in center for um, youth up to the age of 25, but during the pandemic, they've been treated, serving all ages, uh, giving food and hygiene supplies. And they have workshops, uh, like I've helped with improv workshops there and um, which is fun. And, but they have all kinds of um, parenting workshops and there's job workshops um, and, all kinds of stuff, a lot of creative stuff like painting and sewing and um yeah but it's wonderful it's called my friend's place um and yeah donate or um they're just starting to get their um volunteer situation back up and running because of you know all the new they're serving um clients outside now because we usually clients would come inside to get showers and food and yeah. stuff but now everyone's kind of doing everything outside so now they're you know figuring that all out but um check it's it out hard. yeah that's awesome yeah. Yes. I love that. We'll see if we can incorporate that sort of thing into future streams too, like actually do a charity stream. So. Oh, and you see. know what we should all do you guys while yeah, I have Jen. you, I, yeah. I do, yeah. uh, I, I do stuff with, uh, young storytellers, which is a nonprofit that brings writing, uh, into public schools, like playwriting and stuff. And usually we would do things in the schools, but of course that's not been able to happen. So we've been doing these shows weekly um, where we we act out a uh, Zoom play that was written that's by cool. a student, like a fifth grader or something. Oh, grader that's off. so um, great! You act it, yeah, and and you act it out, and the and the students. How much better is the material than and, what uh, what you guys write? I mean, it's a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's got to be better. just a relief, right? <laughs> I'll ask for I, Dave. I how much to... are they paying? How much are they paying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's zero. It is zero. It you is know, I pay. I did that. I think I've, I've done, done that a couple of times too. And you go and you you work. With, they, they've got they had writers, people that yeah. would help with their script, and then they brought in actors. So we would act the stuff yeah. out. It's awesome. It was they call it the big so show. exciting. So exciting. Sounds yeah. at least like scale plus ten to me. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I might give you a t-shirt. Yeah. Do we get swag? Do we get swag? That's great. But if they're I still if they're do doing stuff like that, Janet, you should let let yeah. me know. I'll I'd reach love, out because that'd be fun for like the cast our cast to do yeah. a, a kids like ten minute play would be really fun that'd that be would awesome. be great. It's a great organization. I love and, that. Yeah. There's everybody's trying. All these nonprofits are trying to adapt uh because of covid and stuff so any support that, that's great that we can give them is great totally lafh.org lafh.org anybody else promoting place. anything anybody promoting any shows tv <laughs> drug problems anything <laughs> um should i take the, the the carpet back or not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> don't take it back All right. was, uh, the boys i'm on the boys oh i just feel like terror i had to say something friday the boys comes out on Amazon. I hear it's really Please good. Watch. Yes, it's going to be Woo! awesome. It's great I don't know. Episode, episode, episode three. Episode three. I the is boys. the best. I love the it. boys. Uh, on the Amazon. cast is great. Uh, the, the whole boys. cast, everybody in it, they're just beautiful so, people. 
except yeah. for PJ. Is yeah. this the one? Is this the one where they where they're um, uh, it's the superheroes, but they're not good people or something. You got yeah. it. You got it. Yes. My son yeah, turned me on to it. I loved it. Friday. Okay. Tell them they'll wait. They cool, the Pete, first I'm three episodes. Yeah, I did that. For oh wait, you. wait, wait. Awesome. for you, Janet. Oh, yeah. thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you. That's I so love giving. You. I care about you. I love you. Yeah. Mm. Boys and also based on comics originally. Yes. Yes, very true. Oh, very awesome. True. Does Dark Horse have anything? And you can hear me on all the Cricket Wireless commercials. And yes. Uh, oh, I knew that was you. I knew that was you. Let me tell oh, you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the work the work I do, I mean, it's it's phenomenal. I think really. it's exciting now. It's uh, tremendous. You should show a big thank you yeah. to Dee Bradley Baker for helping you. I know what? Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's right. This, that's this right. booth right here, this booth right here, best investment I ever made. That's no time. joke. That's no joke, too. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, I know, an because investment. now I'm having a problem. My my agent, um, I was going to do it. <laughs> I was going to do <laughs> I was gonna do a voiceover, and they said, "Well, you have to have professional. You have to have Source Connect." It's the and I was like, "I," ever. but I couldn't get it on source my Source Connect. I, I, I couldn't Bad. figure you it out. It? I, I, I was supposed to use it. I'm and halfway there. I couldn't figure it out, and so we had to. Use I'm like halfway. How do we get it? For it? And it's not. I've been fully, doing live like, live up. sessions in here, like uh, oh, yeah, great. really just to create right to them in San Francisco. It's so cool. The coolest technology, yeah. man. I don't know. George how to... the don't tech guy. To... George, go go online. Look at this guy called yes, George the he's tech the, guy. He's the dude. He's the man. And he tells oh, you like from a voiceover or uh like yeah. he really caters to more voice right. actors than musicians. So he so tells George you, like, the tech man. Is that what you said? George the tech George guy. The tech Just guy. Google that. It'll come up. George... Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> awesome. I just make fun of me. He'll make fun I just of really, me, though. I just know Yeah, it. no, they'll make fun of you for sure, man. Uh, I, I realized <laughs> I'd be remiss if I didn't promote this Quibi cartoon that I'm on that you can watch every oh. day. It's called Your Daily Horoscope. It's literally your sign's daily horoscope, but set in an office where all oh, of the, the signs heck? work together. That sounds amazing. So I played the Gemini twins right here, Ooh. the Leo right here, That's and great. the like, Cancer, them? this little crab right here oh, and they're really fun it. and so there's one that comes out every weekday but there's 12 that come out every weekday so you can watch it's basically like watching a half hour of tv because wow. it's just a bunch of little sketches yeah. with all these with all the oh, characters where do you find it find it Love it's on it. quibi it's a it's on quibi every day oh That's quibi awesome. yeah yeah it's fun i'm gonna tell my whole office about that actually they're gonna love that it's it's really fun. It's Will Arnett's company. Will Arnett, uh, oh. his company attention awesome. is uh, yeah is the uh, ATTN attention. is um is behind it. But it's it's really fun. Yeah. Aww. Anyway, shout out to Quibi. Cool. I love you. Quibi. I love you, I love you guys. Quibi. I love Quibi. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you, Kara. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, thank you everybody Thanks, for Janet. watching. Thanks, Janet. We should Thanks, do Janet. the podcast. Thank though. you, Thanks. Gary. Thanks, thank you good behind the scenes. Hi guys, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Love you. PJ, uh, if I feel hi. like I'm gonna die, I'll call you. No, you don't have to. I'm videotaping the whole thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's all I care.